And it's not for lack of trying that she left him all alone. He just couldn't be the man that he promised long ago. I'm a singer songwriter and I just started um, a once a month event at an art gallery where I get to put on my own show, invite my musician friends, comedians, entertainers. And so this is something new. I just started it last month and I'm planning mine for this. Um, November 17th is the next one. And so now I'm kind of curating my own show and that's where I'm going with my music. I get to practice all of my music in front of a live audience and kind of go from there. So one step at a time, but I'm super excited about this. How has music been a nice outlet and a nice balance to complement diving? Yeah, I think that it's, of course, a little bit more relaxed than diving. <laughs> As any diver knows, it's an intense sport. <laughs> so it just kind of helps me calm down and take a breath and find my feet a little bit. Um, you know, it's just something that is like my own therapy. It's like some people pay for therapy. I just sit with my guitar. My guitar is my therapist, you know? <laughs> What has been your focus in training yeah. as we approach Winter Nationals here? Yeah, Winter Nationals is so close. I mean, I'm definitely feeling a little bit of the nerves and excitement as the meet comes around the corner. And I think for me, I'm just trying to grind it out right now in training and stay focused. And each dive is so important because in the long run, that's, um, you know, the moment that you need to do your competitive dives, it all comes down to your training and your process. So I'm trying to train with that intensity that um, I need to be really competitively uh, aware and in the moment for Winter Nationals. 